monsters, ghosts, witches, devils, Dracula. Heavy metal music, hard drinking, mayhem. Dracula. What's up, everybody? My name is Robin. Put down your crack pipes and beer bongs because you're listening to the Drunk in the Graveyard podcast. And I just have one thing to say, but I'm going to let these guys introduce themselves first. Please, please let me introduce myself. <laughs> please let go. me introduce <laughs> myself. I'm going to get you off like there's no one else. I don't know the rest of the lyrics. I'm but Scott. <laughs> I'm Rigby. Ribby. I'm Ribby. B B Ribby Ribby. As my niece calls me, Ribby. <laughs> so we're coming to you live with uh, another live, but it's a recording. Uh, <laughs> coming to you live from the convention center downtown. <laughs> it's Honda days. <laughs> it's HBO, so it's live. Uh, yeah, we're at the cabin. We haven't done a cabin tape in a while. It's been a minute. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cabin tapes are greasy. <laughs> well, yeah. that's what happens when you go to the woods and drink all day and then at 11 o'clock at night decide to record a podcast. <laughs> that's the best way to do it. I think so, so we're here with Scott's birthday weekend. Scott turned the big 3-5 yesterday and uh, we decided <laughs> we decided that the best way to celebrate was because since we're completely addicted to rewatching Rock of Love <laughs> and we burned through season one and three in like a month. Yeah. I love that we skipped two though. Two yeah, is the most like, boring one. We're just like, no. So we decided that this weekend we were going to make a five hour playlist of nothing but hair metal <laughs> called Touch My Backstage <laughs> Pass. I think it was Scott told me it was like nothing but hair metal, but I think butter once. No, that's a separate playlist. That's it's my called K poop. poop. Oh, my is K-poop it just butter? Play- yeah. I'll add to it. As if I don't have it on my phone. I am here to provide for you. Oh, and uh, to listen to it on your own. Mm-hmm. Shut up. <laughs> we'll talk about that. All right. Anyways, go on. Well, we've been addicted to Rock of Love, and we decided we would uh, make a five-hour playlist of nothing but hair metal, come up to the cabin, dress up shittily like Brett Michaels from Poison, because we've decided through Rock of Love that we love Brett. I want to be best friends with Brett. I'd chill with him. Yeah. I I'd feel like... a banana. I want him to be my Rock of Love. Yeah, I want to have like my purse full of insulin and bananas and like poison cassette tapes no. and bananas. <laughs> Me likey. Fred has three cool phrases. <laughs> yes, yeah. He honestly does seem like a chill guy. Oh, I want to. I want to be his best friend. Yeah, yeah. So we decided in honor of BMB, as I call him, Brett Michaels Band. <laughs> yep. We would have a Brett Michaels weekend. So we. I don't Did even know. So. We did that. We took glamour shots of us dressed as Brett Michaels. I told people I was like, "Oh yeah, I'm going to my I'm going to my cabin this weekend. It's my it's my buddy's birthday. So we're having a um, Brett Michaels birthday weekend." And they're like, "What is that?" I'm like, "I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Are we gonna die?" It's a state of mind. Those those glamour shots, as you refer to them. Are now our official like? Oh yeah, that's like the cast photo. Yeah. Like when people want a photo of Drunk in a Graveyard, yeah, that's signed, going, which that's happens going a lot. <laughs> programs on websites. Yeah, 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 yeah. Especially if we uh, do like that fan event that we were supposed to do yeah. a couple towns over when we were going to open for like the voice actor Shepard from Mass Effect. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. send that in, and we have to do like a podcast before that. Like get the crowd warmed up, it gets the people going. Does I think it? we should wear the costumes. Sure. I'm Fuck wearing it. part of it right now. Yeah. It's just white trash. That okay. fringe jacket is also out of control. So I hope you'll actually look at the photos, listeners, rather than just us describing them weirdly in a bad way. Picture them. That's what they look like. <laughs> Picture us wearing the most white trash shit with cowboy hats and friggin' red bandanas. And way too short jean shorts. Yeah, my vagina almost fell out a couple times today. <laughs> And I was also aggressively dancing all day and slapping my own ass. It was a good time for me. Not for you guys, but for me. <laughs> <laughs> We've plumbed the depths of lots of stuff today. Yeah. We've also done like a bit of a sampler pack of like movies lately. Like we've been checking out it all. And I think we've been forever changed uh, ever since the Snyder Cut. Oh, I fear no pain or movie. Yeah. I fear no evil. No, I mean, we watched... Uh... Speaking of Snyder, <laughs> Army of the Dead. And it was like, bam, done. Nothing. After the Snyder cut and it's four hour runtime. Fuck. Two and a half hours is 
nothing. Nothing. Also, Army of the Dead was yeah. good, and everyone getting all triggered about it is really pissing me off. I'm are people getting that triggered it. about it? Yeah, people are trying to like approach it like intellectually, and it was just like it's a movie about fucking robots and zombies ripping yeah. around Las Vegas. <laughs> like, what do you want? Zombies make brain go brrrr. Like, like it had it had zombie Elvis. The song talked about zombie Elvis when he was on screen in mm-hmm. the intro. What more do you want? Well, Dave, and it had Richard Cheese. Yeah, which... Dave Batista's wearing glasses, which I, was so funny to I me. I love Dave Batista's <clears throat> glasses, like little tiny glasses. It's yeah. Great. Yeah, I mean, it had some, he like, boring wears, parts, for sure. Apparently, he wears glasses, like sunglasses, because he has bad anxiety, and it gives him confidence. David! He's a gigantic hulk of a man. Aw, Dave. You don't have to be anxious, bro. I want to be his friend, too. Yeah, me too. You carry you around. Oh, like no, a little, it's a like Master a, Blaster situation yeah, like with this backpack. one. backpack. Yeah, she's tiny like a chestnut. You'd, <laughs> you'd slot right into his backpack. <laughs> You could have like another gun in Army of the Dead, and you could ride his back, and you could just be like. Bang. It would be like yeah. it would be like that guy in Ace Ventura, where he like shows up and he like jumps out of the bag and is like, gang, 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 gang. Yeah. yeah, or Master Blaster, or what's the other one in Mortal Kombat? You know the one. Mortal, not the bad movie, the the good video game. Yeah, I forget. Whatever. I'll be Master. <laughs> Who run Butter Town? Okay. I guess I'll be Blaster then. No, Dave's back. Ki- keep up. Oh, right. Oh. Well, let's go fuck myself. Then. Anyways. Yes, I'll just go fuck myself. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Yeah, we've been doing like a sampler pack of movies. We just watched Psycho Gorman for the second time out on a gorgeous uh, projector screen. Yeah. We had a camp, raging campfire going. It's a nice way to go. Good road to be on. Yeah, nice road to be on. We watched about... Uh, I watched like half hour of Campfire Tales today. We watched like half of Scary Movie 2. You watched the wildest half hour campfire tales because yeah before that you're campfire kinda stories like, campfire, campfire stories. stories yes yeah. before that you're just kind of like eh this isn't very middle good middle of the road but it's got charlie day in it rob mckelney rob it's got McKelney. two of the it's always sunny cast yeah. in it. and then in the ha- last half hour the fucking misfits show up <laughs> and potentially pamela anderson we got to revisit that yeah yeah as soon as we get into cell service we can be like googie was pam anderson in fucking campfire stories that was wild I mean, we could phone Brett, right? My friend Brett, not Brett Michaels. <laughs> Brett Michaels. But That'd I've be fucking funny. I've definitely been up here before and called him at like two in the morning to be like, hey, fact check this for me. I don't have cell service. <laughs> but he'd be mad if he knew we were up here and didn't invite him. That's okay. He can come next time. Yeah. He can listen. He can see us be like the most disgusting, depraved, like ever since we got he here. He drinks sports beer. No. What's Yeah. Oh, what's, a sp- what's a sports beer? Oh, it's light beer mixed with Powerade. That's fucking disgust. You disgust me. <laughs> if you're listening, does it is it good? Yeah. Huh. You, it, it, you get the electrolytes your body needs and the beer. Fucking you can plant. drink all. You can drink sports beers all day long. Plants love them, so it's like a rattler, but yeah, with Powerade. Yeah. Yeah, we, it is. We, we tried this once previously at Shambhala where we were like, we'll mix our vodka with the Powerade, no, then we won't different. get hung over. Okay, that's different. So I, you drink this a... is a purposeful made beer. He didn't make it. Or does he mix oh, it? Oh, he makes it himself. Oh. Yeah. Oh. You get a light beer. You get like a Corona type. Yeah. You put some lime in it, and then you put a little bit of Powerade in it. Hmm. It's It's quite good. <laughs> Ugh. I'll try anything once. Yeah. Ugh. I'm drinking... Pepsi and vodka right now though, so like yeah. I don't care if I live or die, so I'll <laughs> fucking try it. Have anymore. some Pepsi. Pepsi. Oh my god. Anyways, what else we had a sampler pack, but what did we legitimately watch? And what are we talking we about? We legitimately watched I don't know why we even got on this. You freaked out and sent the group chat a video of your Netflix. <laughs> because I was zooming in and out really rapidly on it. Of Annabelle <laughs> Comes Home, which Scott I've already seen or had already seen, and you were you completely lost your shit about it. Because I love I love watching bum house movies with you guys because they're so easy to make fun of. Yeah. But like Here's the thing. Was that even a bum house? Yeah. Of course it was a it's bum a house. Annabelle. Yeah, you... That's their prime franchise. Yeah. Here's the thing. Fair I enough. remember watching it in the theater with Robin. What's a theater? I know, right? <laughs> it's, we used to have them. <laughs> the ancient technology, yeah. ancient facilities. Don't speak the old lore to me. I was um, there when it was written. But yeah, me and Robin went and saw it. And I remember walking out of like a matinee, because mm. those are great, um, 
and just being like, I think that movie was good. It was not good. like not good, but Bumhouse good. Yeah, good Bum for Bumhouse. And yeah. The best the best of the Annabelle. I still feel that way after the second yeah, watch. Yeah, it was good. Annabelle three, the three inning. Yeah. Annabelle come home. <laughs> Annabelle come <laughs> home. <Hell's full. laughs> Annabelle come back. Are you about to say Yeah. That? We have we we have a working theory that we've discovered. Um that we have one brain cell and we share it amongst the three of us. It's like a horrific hive mind. Plus zero the dogs here right now, so he's kind of taking some of it yeah. too. It's bad. Yeah. The it's... worst was last week, I think. <laughs> Scott and I both sent each other texts that had 69 in it, and us and saying nice. nice. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not good. At almost the same time. My coworker sent me, like, we have an inter-office Skype, and he sent me a message. It was like, there was 69 cases of COVID or whatever in our region. And I said, nice. And I screenshot it, took it, sent it to Scott, and, like, the same minute he sent me one of his similar situation it yeah. was like you talked to someone else yeah we have we're like action figures with like seven cool phrases just pull the back <laughs> like i was saying last night it's like a yak back yes. we've just recorded a few phrases on our <laughs> brain yak backs it's true <laughs> Where I was saying, like, uh, there was, like, some kind of Frankenstein situation where the doctor was, like, well, just saw, like, we were, like, born without brains. And then a doctor, like, saw, like, one brain into three parts and then just hucked it in each of ours. And then we just kind of pass. That's that's good enough. Yeah, (laughs) pass it all back and forth. Because it's ridiculous. Like, I don't know if it's just that we've been around for so long. Anyways, we watched Annabelle. Hell's full, so Annabelle come (laughs) home. Annabelle cummed home. C U M. Cummed. Okay. All right. So Annabelle takes place in the fucking Conjuring universe, which sucks because it's about Ed and Lorraine Warren, who are like the, huge charlatans. Yeah, the biggest hucksters to ever yeah. fucking exist. We'll get into this because I have a fucking tirade to go on because those oh, those two, they're both dead and I hate them. No, I think she's alive. No, she's, she's dead. dead. That was dedicated to her memory. She's dead because I fucking remember when we were in the theater <laughs> and it, it, came, okay. it came up on the screen like in mem- in loving memory yeah. of fucking blah, blah, blah. Of Lorraine Warren. Yeah, and this bitch is like, fuck this dead bitch <laughs> in the theater. You know, I was like, oh my God, we I don't think leave. I said. I don't think I said, fuck this dead bitch. You said something similar. <laughs> I'm sure it was just like, oh, fuck off. Yeah, that seems, that seems like something you'd say. Oh, fuck off. Ah, beat it. <laughs> no, I don't remember this at all, by the way. Of course you don't. <laughs> it's, you did it. <laughs> you it's did des- it. You can't undo yeah, it. <laughs> it's deserved. I'm yeah. sure she was fine with a pile of money. I thought she was alive still. No, no what she was like she... 800 million years old. And he died of being a man that was above the age of 75 and probably had heart problems. Oh, maybe he was chopping wood or something. <sighs> what do you do? All the wood's burning. <laughs> okay, so Annabelle came home. Came home. To- Send the Conjuring universe, Ed and Lorraine Warren. This is like the family years where they're like living at home in a horrible 1970s house and they have a daughter named Judy. And Judy, as you could imagine, with parents who are basically the fucking shitty version, the Edwardian version of the Ghostbusters, uh, or like 1970s Edwardian version of the Ghostbusters. Hey, hey. How dare you? The Ghostbusters did good work. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Go on. Anyways, uh, so Judy's not too popular at school. What with her mother dressing like a fucking spiritualist from the late 1800s and her father like being, you know, a known anti-Semite and uh, chasing around the Enfield ghost to the point that England was like, can you get the (laughs) fuck out? You just showed up at this event. Can you please leave these people alone? Can Can you please give me a crumb of money? Um, a crumb of pussies, please. Um, um, Judy, so... The, she's like a little nerd. She's a big nerdlinger, but the Warrens are like, we have to go, even though it's your fucking boyfriend. No, yeah. it wasn't her birthday. It was her pre-birthday. Yeah. We have a con job to run, so yeah. we're going to go, and you can stay here while we yeah, con you're With your hot baby. Maybe they were going to Amityville to fuck that shit up. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Lorraine Warren was going to pack her high-collar, ruffle-neck Victorian blouses <laughs> hey, and her piece um, of the cross. Speaking of high-necked Victorian dresses... I got a booger. <laughs> wow. Why don't you mention what happened to you at the Starbucks drive-thru? 
Oh the other day fuck. so I was, we all witnessed so yeah we all went to the starbucks because we're fucking trash and i was wearing a wednesday adams collared dress so a white collar on a black dress and the lady at starbucks was like oh you're dressed up like you look like ruth bader ginsburg <laughs> and i was like i'm sorry what and she said i meant it as a compliment and then i was just like thank you for telling me that i look like a 97 year old dead woman but <laughs> All right. That was that was a wild day. Yeah, because I was just like, that is like the most like backhanded John Mulaney fucking heist of women doing <laughs> Ocean's Eleven. I like how you just wear anything. We like, can't be out in public for too long because I feel like we get like two weird interactions in us. And then it's like, we got to go. Well, too much weird shit like gravitates towards us. Like we saw a teenager fight when we were went through a nice walk through the park. Oh, yeah. There was a bunch of smashed friggin' Coors banquets on the ground. No, they were shotgunning twisted tees yeah. in the oh. parking lot of a local park. And I was like, I gotta pee so bad I had to walk. And there was past a sixteen year old girl screaming about how she had anal sex. Uh uh-uh. uh. She was like I'm I'm fucking sixteen and he's I don't want to have sex with him he's he's and in my brain I was like if she says an age over eighteen I have to step in as an adult like I need to be like give me your phone we need to call your mother like imagine if she said and he's thirty she said he's eighteen and then she said I'm this close to moving to fucking Alberta and I was like can I just scoot by you real quick I gotta use the bathroom like I use the shitter at the park. Yeah, I blame you for that. Because we were like, hey, there's a bathroom right here. And you were like, no, I want to walk to the far bath. <laughs> it's your fault. We, yeah, but we got to see a teen fight. We did. <clears throat> it just like, it, seeing people fight like brings out the like recess in me where I want to be like, fight, fight, fight. Rip his her. fucking head off. <laughs> she called you a slut. <laughs> <laughs> we're, they're from another school. Fight them. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like Thursday night at like eight. Yeah. yeah it was it's a school night this ladies. happens to us all the time whenever we go anywhere and there's weird the three of us together happens. insane crap happens mm-hmm. people will come up to us and say weird shit we'll see people just come out of the bushes clearly having just bought drugs oh yeah that happened too somebody came up to matt the other day at walmart and he had headphones on and she tapped him on the shoulder and he's like yes hello and she's like do you have any children and he was <laughs> like okay and just put them back on and walked away <laughs> I was like, well, what, why did she ask? He's like, I don't fucking know. Yeah, it's best not to engage. Yeah. You yeah, just have to fair. walk away. Move slow. Um, so anyways, the Warrens are going on a con job. Her, the, Judy's hot babysitter picks up her at school. This was kind of cool. I liked because like while Judy was like at school at like the lunch break, uh, she kept seeing like an old priest kind of in the background. Yeah, an old priest and a young priest. <sighs> and then it was like later on she, when they... When Judy's babysitter was like, hey, let's go home. They walked past, like, a bust that was, like, in loving memory of father, whatever. And that was the guy. Yeah. Because she, like, sees g g g ghosts yeah. too. Because she's, like, cool. touched in the mind, like, her psychic mother, apparently, or whatever the fuck Lorraine Warren I'm a sucker for that uh, kind of thing, like, in The Sixth Sense. Yeah. When Cole's, like, there was an accident and the lady died. And then it, like, pans out and the, the, the biker is, like, right next to the window. Mm-hmm. I kind of like that sort of thing where there's, like, ghosts and shit, but then no one really acknowledges it. They kind of do it in um, Hereditary as well with the witches. Do they? Yeah. yeah. Where, like, they're whispering the na- like her name or whatever from across the street. And she, like, only she can see them and shit. Mm-hmm. I almost saw Hereditary once. It's probably for the best. Yeah. That movie fucked me up. I've seen it a couple times because I really like it, but it fucks me up. <laughs> it fucked me up because I'm a sick bitch. Anyways, the Warrens suck, so they're like, see you later, kid. And uh, the ba- the hot babysitter picks her up. She's seeing ghosts and ghoulies. And then they go to like the Warrens' house, and Judy's like, well, no one's going to come to my birthday because I'm a big dweebo. Well, her and birthday I- was like next week or something. Yeah, she so was like, the babysitter was like, I'll make, we'll do a, a faux party. Yeah. Brett Michaels theme. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Judy Warren had a Brett Michaels theme weekend. So the babysitter's like, well, let's make a sheet cake. <laughs> and kids love sheet cake. Yeah, she went to, we got to see, uh, this scene was arguably cool where uh, the babysitter goes to the store and everything's set up like 1970s, like it's all face. That'd be cool to be a set designer, I bet. It'd be really fun. Yeah, I think so. To have like, it has to be this specific comic or. Mm-hmm. I think that'd be a cool job or like location scout would be a cool job. Yeah, that would be yeah. very cool. So she goes and gets the ingredients for a sheet cake because she's got to make one for this little nerd. <laughs> and then she goes back to her house and her friend who recently was driving teenage and killed her father in an accident is like, I'm I, sad. I, I she looks like Veronica you... Lodge. <laughs> yeah. 
I love how you said driving teenage like it's being drunk. <laughs> yeah, that was badly. guilty of driving teenage. That's a joke. Okay. D- either badly or drunk. And that's like, yeah. and that joke is backed up by hard facts because the the most amount of accidents come from the elderly and new drivers. Look at us in our thirties, killing it. Oh. <laughs> no accidents for us. Not killing it. Not yes. killing it. Not yes. killing it. Yes. No. yes. 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 No. Yeah. I still remember most of the accidents I've been in have been teenagers backing into me. Remember a carload of teenagers? Oh my God, yeah. And then a man tried to run you over at Walmart who was a hundred years old. That was before we came up here. You guys were there to get snacks. And you're like, well, it might be a little bit late. Some old man tried to hit Scott with his car in the parking lot. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, did you get the cheesies or not? <laughs> Getting the important stuff. Yeah, right. So babysitter's friend. Veronica, I'm going to call her, because yeah. she looked exactly like Veronica Lodge, Yeah, came over and was like, hey, Judy, so your parents are real freakazoids, huh? And she's like, yeah, I guess so. I'm just feeding the chickens in my backyard. The chickens yeah. were integral to the plot. Were they? Yeah. Oh, right. The guy gets his bird pecked off by chickens. Anywho- Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Uh, and the girl's like, can I see your parents' freaky room of freaky collectibles? <laughs> I heard there's weird stuff in this house. Yeah, I heard there's like a weird museum of spooks and scares. And you know what? Because at the beginning, they get the Annabelle doll, and then they like put it in this like container, and they get With like... The blessed glass. The blessed glass, and then they get a priest to bless it, and it's like, well, I said this multiple times, put it in a fucking crate, put cement in the crate, Chuck it off a boat into the ocean. Yeah, like Hugh Hefner did with all those celebrity sex tapes he owned. There we go. Yeah. Buried under a football field like Jimmy Hoffa. Yeah. Do something. Why don't you just burn it? Throw it down a fucking well. Like, why? Maybe why is that a forbidden no, closet of mystery? You can't a... throw the Annabelle doll down the well because then you get an Annabelle Sadako situation. Oh. You, get, yeah, you get a crossover. You get Anna Daco. Oh. <laughs> so... Maybe you can't burn it because that would release the spirit. Oh, and right. I think they case said something it in like cement that. Yeah, exactly. And throw it off a boat. Bada boom, bada bing. Yeah. Fucking what are you, the it. fucking Sopranos over here? Get Christopher Walken on a boat. He seems to be good at tossing women over. Hey, there you go. <laughs> I mean, that has not been proved, but... Yeah. Anyways, yeah. Like, don't just... You, it's so dramatic. And then they write the calligraphy, like, warning, do not open. This. It's No, it says positively do not open. What the fuck does that even Posi- mean? And it was underlined, I think. Yeah. And then, like, it's the so real dramatic. Annabelle doll is, like, a fucking shitty handmade Raggedy Ann doll that someone's drunk mom in the 1970s, like, cobbled together. And then, like, the Warrens were like, oh, this is a, this is a spooky, scary doll. And you know doll. what? That, this proves it to me. that If the Warrens truly believed that all these things were fucking evil, they wouldn't keep them in their house. Yeah. Like, yeah. And I mean, we, we decided that, like, the only story that we really wanted was the haunted samurai armor. Oh, yeah. yeah because you're given, like, this tour of their, like, room of haunted items. Yes. And, and you see all, like, you know, you see it all looked the like references. It like someone's yard sale. Yeah, yeah. You see all the references to the other movies. You see that little box that the crooked man comes out of from yeah. the... Sinister conjuring. I don't no, it was the conjuring two. It's yeah. very confusing because they use Patrick Wilson in both series. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and then you get the samurai armor. And you don't really get anything from. What it. else do you get? What else was there? Oh, a little board game. <laughs> oh yeah. What was that board game called? <laughs> Take your time. Feely mealy. <laughs> so this is a real board game. <laughs> It's a real board game called Feely Mealy. And while we were watching the movie, for some reason, I was like, what is this fucking game? Fucking Feely Mealy. And I said it in a weird voice. And you were like, you're so fucking stupid. Why are you <laughs> saying it like that? And then less than 30 seconds later, you said it. Feely Mealy. <laughs> and it's so pleasurable to say. And apparently you were on a, you're on a drive with your husband. <laughs> and just out of nowhere, in the car... <laughs> Not related to anything you were saying. I was texting you. Just said, well, and he didn't know that. It just no. You just say feely mealy in a weird voice. I'm sure he almost drove off the road. He was already mad because I made him listen to Butter like four times. <laughs> You're lucky he didn't kick you out to the side of the road. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Make you walk home. Mealy. I don't know. I had to abandon her. She keeps ranting about some kind of feely mealy. Yeah, I'm like, what do that you want to listen to the song four times in a row? And then I just say feely mealy. <laughs> <laughs> it's really pleasurable to say it's we've fun. we've we've got on this topic that like we make sounds that like feel pleasurable and then Feely. we get stuck on them 
Like that's got to be some kind of an itis. I don't. I don't know. Uh, it's not. It's something diagnosable. <laughs> <laughs> Take your time. <laughs> Die. I don't know. Di- you could diagnose it. There you go. Thank yeah. you. Um, some kind of hey yo. Some, some kind of itis. Oh, I got fucking symptom syndrome. <laughs> Uh, so anyways, yeah, so it's the evil doll, and then they show all the other fucking things. This movie was good, but it also felt like a real grab bag of like, well, you guys want a movie about this? Oh, it was a, it was a haunted house movie. Yes. Yes, like, it yeah. was. So, uh, they get a pizza. It's Veronica Lodge, hot babysitter, Judy. And they get a pizza, and it's the guy at the store who clearly has a crush on hot babysitter. And he's like, maybe we can eat, uh, who ordered a pizza with extra sauce? <laughs> He's like, maybe I can come in. And she's like, well, the Warren said that I can't have boys over. Because they're super Christian. So. Uh, they, they could have evil dolls and an evil yeah, set of fucking fine. samurai armor. but No they, boys. No boys. No hunky boys. No alive boys. <laughs> uh, and then while they're like hanging out, blah, 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 Judy's talking to Veronica Lodge. And she's like, do you think you like are ghosts real? And Judy's like, yeah, they are. And then Veronica thinks she sees her dead dad in the house. Yeah. And yeah. She, she sees him like the reflection. Yeah. The of sliding the window. glass door. Yeah. yeah. That's where I have my most intimate moments with my mind is staring blankly at the sliding glass door. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or like when the screen goes black. Oh, that's not And then not you see yourself time. and you're like, that's not oh. good. Your phone reflection? Yeah. You're like, oh, that's, no. That is my deepest, darkest memories and feelings. You know what the worst moments. is? Is when you turn your camera on and it's front facing and you're like, oh, no. <laughs> that's what I look like. <laughs> They're going to think I really look like this. <laughs> uh, so then Veronica Lodge goes down to the Forbidden Basin of Mystery. She steals the, the key. She pilfers it. She Petty p- larceny. She- Okay, babysitters pilfered the key, committed yes. petty larceny in the Warren home, <laughs> which is against God. That's excusable. It's the Warrens. We've I think been over this. I, when she went into the office to steal the key, there was like a file about somebody who was like either killing people or dot like you. They was putting coins on their eyes. Oh yeah, which is kind of cool because that's supposedly according to like myth to pay the ferryman. Michael and I missed the man. encore of Don't Pay the Ferryman because I was in the friggin' lobby talking about shopping carts. You ready for this? Yes, I'm watching this. This is an audio format. You're just doing, like, <laughs> bar tricks over here. Yeah, well, it impressed her. Old yeah. fucking Rigby is flipping bottles over here. So if you need a bartender for your wedding that only serves soju, <laughs> we got you covered. I got tricks. Yeah. Drunk in a graveyard, bartending services, not licensed, only soju. <laughs> yeah. Hit me up. <laughs> yeah. I'll hook you up. With you like that? Day. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. So, anyways. Very cool. So she goes down to the basement and is like, Papa, can you hear me? <laughs> pop, pop. <laughs> pop, pop, pop. And um, then she sees the Annabelle doll and the Annabelle doll falls forward. That's also very funny to me is because the Annabelle doll, they shove her in this like, Cage, Glass case. But they gave her her own chair. Well, yeah, you respect her. <laughs> like, it's just because she's shitty. Just doesn't shove mean her in there. She also, has rights. As, as per... <laughs> just okay. put her in, a, like, a closet in the back. Yes! That's what they should have done. Yeah. Also, as per Annabelle creation, the guy who made the Annabelle doll didn't need to make it so terrifying looking. It looks like a fucking living dead doll. Oh, Come yeah. on. Get out of here. Grow up. Yeah, I think the we should... Edgiest doll. When, yeah. in, in the first Annabelle, I was like, oh, the doll looks like that because it's possessed. But no. Yeah. He just... made it look like that. Uh, the thing that I created in my daughter's mammary. Mammaries. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, anyway, so they put it in this little chair and it's sitting in this little tank. It's a little terrarium. <laughs> And then it falls forward, and the girl's like, oh, this doll that looks fucking horribly evil. Even <laughs> yeah. if you don't believe in ghosts, you're like, that thing's fucked up. Yeah, there's no question <laughs> yeah. that it's not You're like, a let good me doll. open that glass. It's not on the level. And then there's that positively, d- warning, positively do not open. And she's like, oh, okay. And then opens it. <laughs> she's like, but what if? What could go wrong? <laughs> a lot of things. And then she got kind of locked down there for a while, didn't she? Yeah, there was some, like, shit going on. And then they're like, hmm, I've unleashed 
the groovy ghoulies into the home. The groovy ghoulies. <laughs> she and then she was like playing like she unlocked Annabelle and then like kind of looked at Annabelle for a bit and then just put her back. Is that what happened? Yeah, because like I don't think is Annabelle like out rooting around because it like no. unleashes like the devil and like because the devil shows up part way through and is like hey. she Annabelle doesn't really root around. No, she's not a Chucky. Uh, yeah, yeah. She well, because like because she's not like possessed like a Chucky. She's like like a demon uses her to create the illusion of movement. She's like a demon is attached to Annabelle. But Annabelle. yeah, yeah. Whereas there was like a person in Chucky. Bananarama. But. Annabelle, you never see her walking around. No. No. Which no. I'm like glad that they didn't make her walk around because I think she'd look even stupider than she already looked. She'd yeah. be rolling around on stubby little legs <laughs> like mine. It would be about as effective <laughs> as me coming at you in the middle of the night. <laughs> um, so Annabelle unleashes, I guess her getting unlocked, she was like, now I can possess all these other things? Yeah, I think so. So yeah. they already, uh, no, and then Veronica Lodge leaves. Yeah, but not... Okay, yes. I remember what happens now. <laughs> okay. Okay. Annabelle, she unlocks Annabelle and opens it like, wow, this football's fucked up, and then puts it back in and locks it. And then she goes upstairs, and then they ha- then they play Feely Mealy, remember? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Which the game seems to be like, you put your hand into like a... A box. A box, and then try to guess Put your what hand your into f- the box, young Paul Atreides. And then try to guess what you're feeling? Well, you had no, no, that's not how the game works. You have to take a card and then it has like, say a picture of a rhinoceros on it. And you have to put your hand in a box and find the thing that's shaped like a rhinoceros. They didn't have much going on in the fucking seventies, huh? It was a simpler time. I really think we should try to get a hold of a fucking feely. feely. We could fucking make one. Well, yeah, we easily could make a feely, feely, feely. We could easily make one. (laughs) That'd be very fun. That's a lame but game. But what if what if our hands touch while we're playing Feely Mealy? Fellas, is this a gay if your hands touch while you're playing Feely Mealy? <laughs> Jesus Christ. So then they play Feely Mealy for a while. And then Veronica Lodge is like, oh, I better, I better fucking hit the bricks. Uh, cause Judy's got to go to bed and then the pizza delivery guy's outside and he has a good guitar and he's like, Oh, Angela, uh, I don't know if that's the girl's <laughs> name. And he was playing the guitar for her cause he loves her. Yeah. He's doing like a, I guess it's like a say anything. Yeah. Except, except with like a guitar. Um, he should have been out there with a keytar if he there really wanted go. to impress the it ladies. Was the 70s. Yeah, it was ten years too early. Well, whatever. He should have fucking figured it out. Uh, and at this point, all the monsters are like, kind of like getting their bearings. Yeah. <laughs> They're like setting up, <laughs> setting up the haunted house. <laughs> There's a fucking werewolf made of smoke, like a body that's still alive. There's like the fucking coin man. I'm the coin man. The coin man. I got the coin slot man. Ooh. Uh-oh. Like that song that the problematic lady Amanda Palmer wrote, that coin operated boy. Do dee do dee do. Wasn't she married to Tim Burton? She was married to Neil Gaiman and uh. he fled Australia in the middle of COVID to get away from her. So I don't know what that tells you. Oh boy. <laughs> you you boy. Oh. Um anyways. What other monsters were there? Were there any good ones? There was the, the samurai, samurai, which was so fucking cool. Um I mean that's also because we're yeah, you guys have been playing well, lots of Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah, we just yeah. were hot off the Jin Sakai train, so that's probably yeah. why. Uh, the, the coin man was cool. Yeah, yeah the coin man oh, was cool. Oh, there was a bride, the bloody bride. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah she was cool. Because there was just like a fucking wedding dress yeah, down there. A menagerie of ghosts. Yes. That was like someone's yard sale. Oh, like, yeah. That looked like you would go. It was go, a haunted yard sale. Yeah. Yeah, it looked like you would go to like a fucking bingo hall on a Sunday morning that would smell like smoke, and there'd be a bunch of old ladies with friggin'. You know, the hats that aren't, the, like, visors. Yeah. And then they would be like, you were like, how much does this cost? This is this tchotchke is kind of cool. And then they give you, like, a whole story about it. And you're like, look, do you want to sell me the tchotchke? Yeah, like, I'll give you, like, two bucks. Yeah. I'll give you a, a, it's a I'll, candy dish, Ned. <laughs> I'll pay you one dollar for you to shut up. Um. Anyway, so the guy plays the guitar for her. And she's like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Jason. Uh, and then... Uh, Veronica Lodge is like, okay, well, I'm going to go. And then goes to leave. And then she's like, oh, shit, I still have the key for the Forbidden Closet of Mystery. I got to sneak back into the house? 
to le- like I, and like I said, I was like I would just be like huh, and like throw it on the stoop and be yeah, like no fuck kidding. your problem Put it in now. The mailbox. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because you could throw it on the stoop, and then the Warrens would come back and be like, oh, I guess maybe it fell out of our pants pockets. Who gives a shit? Yeah. It's the 70s. we got more important things to worry about. <laughs> like the gas crisis. <laughs> yeah, like our next con job. <laughs> but you know what I mean? But instead, she's like, I'm going to go break back into the... When she could have just knocked on the door and be like, hey, babysitter, who's my best friend? Actually, i got to piss. Can I pee before I leave? I gotta rock a piss off in a big There's way. two good options. I gotta rock a piss off or just hoop on the stoop. <laughs> I agree. I am a fan of a good stoop huck. Yeah, just chuck it on there. Who gives a shit? Yeah. Give me a Abandon all responsibility. Huck. Yeah, if shit sucks, hit the bricks. Yeah. Yep. It's a life motto. Um, But then the... uh, What happens to the boy? He gets chased by the smoke werewolf. Yes. Mm-hmm. And then Judy and the the babysitter and Veronica Lodge see the smoke monster. Yeah, they see the smoke werewolf. But then there's other shit that's happening. Like the bloody bride's like roaming around being extra. Talk about a bride's <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> She has her own TLC show now. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck me. Yeah, 90 Day Fiance. I married the bloody bride. Woo! That's, yeah, that's the October season. What yeah. was that other one we were watching? Sister or something? We were watching Extreme, Extreme Sisters. Sisters. Extreme. <laughs> and they were all dirt biking. No. <laughs> Jeez, that would be better. Yeah. They were all in monster trucks. No, it was like sisters that want to be each other. No, they were sisters that want like there was, there was a set of twins that were be- boinking the same man and were trying to get preggers at the same time. So they had their asses in the air after they got fucking pumped full of goo. <laughs> and the mom was like, <laughs> we have to eat. Pineapple, because I heard that pineapple will help you like get pregnant. And the other girl was like, "I don't really like pineapple. Why didn't they say it was apples?" Yeah, <laughs> and I'm like, "Yeah, this is who I want to be having children." <laughs> I think that's fucked up. What? Two twi- twins, Basil, <laughs> fucking the same dude, trying to get pregnant. Well, I don't know. That's their relationship. They're going to polycule. Don't judge them. Oh, they put themselves on TV. Oh. Shame. Judge. <laughs> Boo this woman. <laughs> shame. Shame. Uh, anyways, what the fuck's going on? They're in another house. There's a smoke monster. The bloody bride's roaming around. And then, like, they kind of do, like, a like a domino effect where they, like, have to defeat each of the monsters or, like, put them back in their place. Like, huh, I done defeated this whore crux of yeah. you. So they, like, get the bloody bride. The fucking devil shows up. Why is it always the devil? Right? Like, Satan's got nothing We've better to do. We've mentioned this. Yeah. Yeah. And it, you give me the, t- like, don't give me a crown prince of hell. Give me some fucking, like, duke of hell. He doesn't have to be a duke. Like, what about the guy who's, like, fucking tilling a farm in hell? It's like, hey, yeah, it's like you get called for jury duty. You yeah. gotta go up and freak right? the shit out of some fucking kids. It's like, yeah. ah, fart. Maybe it's, it's just like, like an undercover boss situation and he loves it. There you go. I mean, but yeah, maybe. that always bugs me. Is was just like, it's either Satan or it's fucking Mephisto or what's the fly guy? Lord of Flies, Beelzebub, and you're like, what? You got nothing better to do? Yeah, that's like you just you don't have like some crib to play or like just chill out in your skull throne. You're the CEO. Yeah, what are you? You're not like rocking around hell in a fucking car made of skulls or something. (laughs) That's like calling IT and Bill Gates answers. Yeah, Yeah, exactly. And then he's like, how old are you? That's like the devil. Also, (laughs) wow, (laughs) wowie. Yo, problematic. Let's skip past that. We're not unpacking that. Uh, it's like you fucking... The devil just shows up and looks so stupid. Like, the devil's like... Meh! And that's well, about the, the extent of like say, his devilment. Do it for the devilment, boys. He should just be like... It, they should just be like, it's a demon. Yeah. Devil, demon, bigly. Yeah, it's not like the devil. But it was the but devil. But it shouldn't be. Like, he's got... He doesn't have anything better to do. No, and then there was like a weird flashback. He's got to darn his socks. Like, who's doing your laundry? Like, when do you find the time to do your laundry, wash the dishes? I think, I know, here's the thing. I don't think the devil has laundry because I think the devil fucking hangs hog. Oh. Oh. I think he's like. Maybe I should become a nudist. That's less laundry. It is less this laundry. This is a lazy lifestyle choice. It's very good. Yeah. Hmm. I think the devil's like, no, but then you have to clean other things because if you fucking sit down on your couch, you could leave like stink nuggets on your couch. Oh, that's true. Yeah. That's well, yeah. then you get like 
plastic coverings for your couch. Yeah, and I think you'd have to do that. You'd have to do that for like for like you have to get plastic coverings for like your kitchen chairs because like so your thighs stick to the chair in the summer. Imagine your balls. You get rid of all your chairs. You only get standing desks because sitting's the real killer. There you go. (laughs) Okay, so you increase your lifespan. You cut down your laundry bills. It's a way. It's a net positive. I mean, I'm taking my clothes off right now. I don't know. I'm. You're making a lot of sense. Wow, let's get naked. Let's phone Brett and be like, Brett. <laughs> Should we get naked? <laughs> what the well, fuck? Well, where are you? <laughs> We're calling from inside your house. <laughs> um, so they defeat... <laughs> they defeat the, the, the hands that come out of the feely. The feely, feely one was so phoned in. It was like, I don't know, it's a game and things come out of it. Counterpoint, mm. it's the best one because you two have been fucking obsessed with it. Yeah, since. it is. It's very fun to say. It's because we get on tirades and then, like, it's just so lame because it's like, okay, really, okay, really. what that ghost is is that hands come out of the holes that you shove your hands into, but you well, can just it, be like, oh shit, and just step over it. Yeah. Well, yeah, because it's not like it was like doing like a thing. Yeah, it it's just not like, like following you around. That'd be cool. That if it was be, running really quickly. I would shit. Could you imagine if, like, but you. Once you Settlers got, of Catan's just chasing you across the room. Once you got over I the hate shock this game. Of it, you could just bunt it. Same with Chucky. Once you get over the oh, yeah. shock of Chucky running yeah. at you. Drop kick yeah. him. Is that a rat? Is that mechanical? Boom! Can you kill a toddler? You can kill Chucky. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm not saying do. <laughs> I'm just saying you can a theoretical. Yeah. Oh, once murder. you get over the shock of a board game with hands coming out of it, yeah. you just be like, "Oh, this yeah. again." That'd be a cool fucking costume. A feely mealy. Yeah. That would be fucked. <laughs> Two people would get it, and they would be like, "I get it." How did you do this? <laughs> I don't accept it. Like, don't do this. I understand what you're doing, but I don't appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, I like those costumes. You know, I've been saying it for years, but I think now, I think enough time has passed that Austin Powers would be a funny Halloween costume. <laughs> we attended a Halloween wedding where the bride and groom got married as Austin Powers and like a fembot. Yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> a little shagadelic. Was it Shagadelic? It was super Shagadelic. <laughs> it was. I think uh, enough time has passed for that to be a funny costume. I also think dressing up as Shrek would be very funny. Yeah. Like a bad Shrek. <laughs> a really, like a I shitty go as, like, Shrek. I'll yeah. go as Shrek. And then one he goes as Fiona, one goes as Donkey. <laughs> donkey. You can rock, rock paper, like scissors really for who bad. goes as Donkey. Or I'll go as Donkey. <laughs> gonna be dressed like shrek and you had the costume really good and then you just like squirted like green face paint yeah. onto your hand and just slathered as much as you could and you were like that's enough <laughs> and i'm done for the day yeah shrek could be a funny costume austin powers and i also think napoleon dynamite would be funny yeah yeah <laughs> right ask your, ask your brother he knows the for, dance yeah, he just needed you just need a vote for pedro shirt i have the perfect halloween costume on fucking lock what is it nardwar Oh, that's a good one. Very good. Yeah. Low effort. Great. <laughs> Nerd work. Yeah. Do 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 do. Yeah. It's perfect. <laughs> Patent pending. <laughs> Uh, I think Nardwar runs that. Yeah, that's fair. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, so anyways, what's happening? The fucking, they, they defeat the Feely Mealy game. They defeat the bride. They oh. defeat the devil because the devil's there for the devil The boy is hiding I in the chicken the, coop from I, the werewolf. I love that the devil isn't even the biggest, like Satan isn't even your biggest problem. He kind of is towards the end because they yeah. defeat him in the bedroom when he like shows up with that fucking weird light lamp thing that's like, ooh, I have lights in my room. It's the 70s. But then they they see like the fucking coin man, and then they're like, "Well, thanks for the dollar. I'm gonna do my laundry." Anyways, yeah, yoink! Oh, it's a Rucker's Fun token. But then they meet up with the fucking samurai in the friggin' hallway. That was cool. And then there was like it was like flashing back to like the samurai, I guess, like killing people, and it was like this is uh, it's, it's insinuating that's why it's haunted. Hey, guess what? It's gonna be lots of haunted well, samurai armor. I mean, <laughs> that's just how he, it is. Jin Sakai was the ghost of Tsushima, yeah. so I mean, I didn't uh, I didn't make him kill his unky. I 100% let him kill himself. The uncle? You killed the uncle? I let him, like, die honorably because I respected him. See, I didn't kill my uncle at the end when I had the choice because I knew it would hurt him more if I let him Yeah, live. no, I think you got the canon ending. Yeah. Mine was non-canon. Oh. Yeah, but I... Jin just cried a bunch. Yeah, no, my, mine did too. Oh, uh, Jin's a sad boy. I got white armor. You got red. Yeah. Oh, yeah. sad boy. 
Yeah, my, and he's like, Jin, kill me. Give me an honorable samurai death. And I was like, fuck you, Anki. You're a piece <laughs> of shit. Oh, we can't use poison to kill the Mongols even after I just watched them explode 70 people. We have to kill them honorably. Fuck you. Anyways. <laughs> so they show that, and then they're like, well, we're not stopping there. And then they just kind of like brush by the samurai armor. And are like, it was standing Anywho. up in a hallway. Which yeah. was kind of cool. It was really cool. And then it just like turned its head when the girl walked past it. And then she just walked past yeah, it. Yeah, you just scoot past it. Oh, excuse me. Oh, Pardon me. Scoochie. It's scoochie. like you're in a like a Canadian in a like a grocery store yeah. aisle. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Oh. Oh, so somebody scooch past you. Yeah. Hey, bud. Let me sneak by you. Yeah. That's how I've been playing Resident Evil 8 with Lady Dim- Dimis- Dimitrescu. Dimitre- Sexy big hat. Dimitrescu. That's her name. Yeah, you're, you're getting Dimitrescu. There. there you go. Dimitrescu. Uh, this is like a bombable situation. Oh. Yeah, she's real big and annoying. And I've just been like, oh, scoot, let me just scoot you right past you. Excuse me. Oh, just me. let me grab the tomato sauce. Yeah, yeah, right? But she's got seven cool phrases, too. Yeah, she'd fit in with us. Yeah. She just repeats them. It's a video game. I know, but it's annoying because one of them is like, I finally meet you, Ethan Winters. And it's like, we've met. I saw you in the <laughs> courtyard like a minute ago. <laughs> you were like, just there. I, was I just too. saw you. You stabbed me a little bit. A little baby bit. Anyways, I scooch past her. They scooch past the armor. We all scooch past each other. Anywho, Judy, Jody ends up, she's like, ah, the, the, the devilment is happening. So she grabs a crucifix because she has them plenty handy and is like using them to fend off the demons, becoming like a junior ghost hunter a la the Warrens. Oh, and your favorite thing happened. You freaked out. Oh, I fucking hate when I know like, you do. There's a cross on the wall, and then it's like something goes bam, and then the cross like spins around and goes upside down, and it just fucking yeah. It's such a cheap gag. Every single fucking bum house movie about <laughs> haunted houses fucking uses that gag, and it just oh my god, it's like in heavy metal videos. Like oh, it's it's, it's make such a-, a it's such a gag that they sell that at fucking halloween stores oh, yeah. like they have a spirit halloween prop that does that oh that's cool i kind of want to get that that'd be fun if you did like a cool do it for the devilment room yeah what were you gonna say Scott? i want to make a bum house shirt that just says bum just house bum house but in like the blum house font that'd, that'd be, be very, very funny good. that's yeah. very funny yeah if anyone wants to see a bum house shirt <laughs> i don't know how to make patent shirts, pending by the way yeah yeah patent pending patent pending yeah, i got Society Six or whatever yeah. kids use. Oh yeah. yeah, bum house. Bum house. I think you'd probably get a cease and desist pretty quick. Oh, fuck, probably yeah. Jason Blum is personally emails me and is like, "Go fuck yourself." Or like Jason <laughs> Bum. <laughs> <laughs> He can take it. Fuck him. They have a, If you have your own Funko Pop, you can take someone clowning on you that your last name kind of sounds like the word bum. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. Is who's the other guy? What other guy? The other guy uh, that did Conjuring. I don't know. James Wan? Yeah. Yeah, he's the director. Yeah, he's the director. Oh. Jason, Jason, Jason Bum is the Bum producer. Is the, like, producer. Oh. He does all of the like, like, dime a dozen fucking horror movies. What happened to Ghost House Productions? Good question. They made good shit. When a movie yeah. had that at the beginning, think, you were no, like, I yeah, think, it was going to be a I banger. think Jason Blum used to be Ghost House. Oh, shit. I think they made 13 Blum Ghosts. House. Oh. Oh, we don't have the internet. We better call Brett. <laughs> Michaels. Yeah, any, either of them. Just phone Brett Michaels. Brett, we need to know about Jason Bum. Excuse all, me? Please int- let me introduce myself. <laughs> My <laughs> name is Rigby. I'm a big fan. <laughs> <laughs> I want to touch your backstage pass and ride your limousine. Um. So anyways, the pizza boy's hiding in the k- k- chicken, ch- chicken coop. Fuck. Chicken. Yeah, he gets chased in there by like the smoke werewolf, and then he destroys his guitar, hitting it. I don't know how that works if that's where it made of smoke, but anywho. Yeah, that's true. Um, Annabelle, I know you're wondering where's Annabelle? Chilling. Yeah, sitting in her little chair. Yeah, <laughs> she's a comfy little rocking chair. Not doing anything. Okay, I have a she's question. She's playing I have a, gin rummy. Okay, yeah. I have a question for the class. What's the question? So if you had a haunted doll and you went to the trouble of like making like weird haunted church glass fucking terrarium for it yeah. and like uh, had like a little chair for it, would you decorate the terrarium for the seasons? Like around sure. Christmas? Oh, like, like oh, the lights? oh, that's a very good question. I would. Yeah. Why you not? know what my biggest thing was is that why did they give it a hinged door? Yeah, why wouldn't it just be like those domes you put over yeah. clocks? Yeah, yeah. Like, why? 
Are you going to take it out and fuck around with it a lot? Or, like, what's the story? I like to pose with it for Instagram. For <laughs> yeah. the gram. <laughs> for the grum? It's fucking Ed Warren's waifu pillow. Because they made... They made... The th- I'm <laughs> just going to gloss Deck- over that. It's Daffy <laughs> Macro. <laughs> they made... The thing custom made for over Annabelle. Yeah, because like some church was like, "Hey, are we fucking some drunk shot out our windows <laughs> and we got some extra glass at the glass store?" And he wanted, and they were like, "Was Gary yes. Busey probably <laughs> pet justice <laughs> marauding around?" And then they so they made it themselves. Like, why did they make it with a door? If why po- not put a lock on the door? They, a key, possibly. I think they oh, I guess did. they did have a key. Yeah, but like. Instead of writing positively don't open, why don't you just make it so you can't open it? For the drama of it all. Fuck, you're right. Fuck, so many things can be answered with that. Yeah, for the for the drama of it all. For the spooky paranormal drama of it all. Fuck, the Warrens are pieces of shit, huh? Yeah. Lorraine Warren legitimately had a fucking toothpick that she kept in this sterling silver case that she would tout around to people and be like, this is a piece of the real cross that Jesus was crucified on. And it was like, that's an old piece of kindling you dug out of the fucking kindling box. How'd she get her hands on it? I don't fucking know. She to fucking Jesus land. I don't know. I don't, I don't, know, I don't know enough about Jesus to know what. <laughs> like I just, just recently found out that he died on Easter. Yeah. I thought they beat the shit out of him and put him in that game, and they were like, "Think about what you did." <laughs> <laughs> well, that <laughs> here we go. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh. So they did do that, but he was dead when they put I him in the cave. That. I and they then just the shit out a of couple him. days later, they were like, "Let me go check and make sure he's <laughs> yeah, dead." Like that's the thing. It's like, let's go see if this dead. What is it? Stand by me. You guys are checking <laughs> on the fucking dead body. Who wants to see a dead shit. body? <laughs> Yeah. Like, hey, you want to see this? Like, let me open this fucking cave. Oh shit, it's gone. Yeah, I thought they just roughed him up, like roadhouse style. Well, they had just roughed him up, and it wasn't to until death. I'll teach you a lesson, Jesus. Um, who was who? <laughs> they roughed him up to death. They roughed him up <laughs> to shreds. You say? Because <laughs> was it not uh, Pontius Pilate who Chris drove Pontius? the Pontius drove the spear? To Jesus? Yeah, it was Chris Pontius who drove yeah, the spear into party Jesus. boy. <laughs> bow, bow, bow. Just in the little speedo, <laughs> stabbing him right uh, in the lung. Yeah, I thought they just were like, ah, was you. Was, I, was, was my Bible study correct there? Was that yeah. Pontius Pilate? Yeah, it was Pontius Pilate. This is the most sacrilegious episode we've ever <laughs> Is that recorded. someone's name? Yeah. Yes, he's Roman. Yeah, oh, okay. that, it was the Romans who killed Jesus, and it was Judas who turned him into the Romans. <gasps> Judas! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Right. Yeah, I thought they just like fucked him up. Okay, him in there. I got a thing for you. Here's okay. here's a here's a here's a I, here's oh, a sure. Yeah, take your time. <laughs> so, speaking of Judas, and I'm not talking about the priest, but in Dracula 2000, <laughs> Dracula is either Judas or descended from Judas. <laughs> what? What was that? The one with the Leah? No, no, you're thinking of Queen of the Dam. Oh. This one had vitamin C in yeah. it. You can see your titters. Yeah, you know, graduation. graduation. As we go on. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what? Yeah, and so he's in a Dracula? Yes. So are we supposed to believe that a vampire killed Jesus? Yes. Well, he, like, betrayed him, and then when he hung himself, his curse was to be a Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So... Okay, as far as I understand, Jesus took his bros up for a nice fucking bro dinner. <laughs> Judas was like, I'm not paying for this. And then <laughs> killed Jesus. I only got fucking no, 12 then, silver, bro. Um, He got the Judas kiss. Judas turned him well, in. made out. Because it was, what was it, 12 pieces of silver? Yeah. You know he got? way more than me. That's the joke I just made. Oh, oh. okay, thank you. So <laughs> Judas got paid from the fucking Romans, but Thanks. then there's this, I remember distinctly, there's a scene in Dracula 2000 where it goes back to Dracula's gritty origin story, and you see it, it's in red and black, and it's Judas hanging himself, and then his silver pieces hit the ground as he hangs himself, and then he cuts himself down, and is like, ah, I will live forever and feast on human blood, I am Judas. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick up these pieces of silver that yeah, drop okay. I'm, uh, I need those. <laughs> yeah, I need to buy some fucking fish or loaves or whatever the fuck. <laughs> Fish one first one and then the other. Okay. So was Jesus a Dracula? <laughs> no, I don't Here think Jesus go. was a Dracula. <laughs> That's what I tell you though. Jesus built my hot rod. <laughs> okay, so 
<laughs> we need to, okay, what I'm learning from this is that um, we, we need to watch Dracula 2000 <laughs> yes. fucking review it because you can see, like, vitamin C dumps them out. Really? Yeah, not bad either. Well, of course. She's a fucking smoke show. Yeah. yeah. Well, she had that orange hair, like, like kind of piss yellow, where you're like, Meh. And that was everyone's grad song that year? It wasn't ours, thank God. You know, ours was Dreamer by Ozzy Osbourne about a woman dreaming of leaving an abusive relationship. Uh, well, they were going to have it be like, don't stop thinking about tomorrow. Don't yeah, wh- stop. What do you think is a better grad song choice? Dreamer? Apparently, mine was Life is a Highway. <laughs> But it was almost that fucking Bubba Sparks song. We mentioned song, this earlier. And I wish it was the Bubba Sparks song. That was the number two voted song in the school. Like Dirty by Bubba Sparks. That would have been amazing. Dirty. I don't know like, what that song is. No, I don't. Well, fuck. It's redneck rap. I don't know. <laughs> it was like when Uncle Cracker was a thing. <laughs> Remember Joe C? Yes. I do. Fuck. Rest in peace. R.I.P. Joe C. <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> I don't know. We're off on this weird Bible study tear because that's what you do at 12 o'clock at night. We've been drinking alcohol all day. It's just start talking about the Lord. I got pretty sunburned. (laughs) Well, no, it's okay. Well, we... uh, our our novelty Brett Michaels cowboy hats haven't done much to protect us from the sun. No, you're looking pretty tanned. Yeah. Scott, Scott tried. Uh... We were, so we were I, talking about Lorraine Warren and her piece of the cross. It yeah. went into a psychotic tirade about Judas. So Judy Warren, Im- imitating her mother, has been ripping crosses off the walls and using it to fend off ghosts and ghoulies. They get down into the basement and she does the ultimate fend off of the devil. And then they somehow manage to get the devil into the Annabelle doll and then get the Annabelle doll into its cage. And then they close it and lock it. And then I think that's it. And then, and then the that, Warrens come home. And then the Warrens come home and they're like, what's, what's a happening? <laughs> <laughs> what's a happening here? <laughs> and then, like, it flashes. Oh, and the guy, the boy who's been in the chicken coop the whole time, and he comes out. And he and has, like, like ah. the neck of his guitar. Yeah. And I was like, thank you for being a part of this movie. Yeah. And then uh, it flashes forward to Judy's birthday, and she was just like, hmm, no one's going to come to my birthday party because Veronica Lodge or whatever, her brother was the one making fun of Judy. Yeah. And she was just like, well, he still pisses in his pants, so don't worry about it. Like, that guy doesn't know shit. And she was like, I'll make sure you have a nice birthday party. Oh, and, like, Lorraine Warren's like, I can see your dad. He tells you hello. And she's like, okay, cool. And then when they have her birthday party. Nice lady. You're not running your con job <laughs> nice on me. Lady. <laughs> nice lady. Nice lady. For fifty dollars a minute, you can talk to your dad. <laughs> he says, mm, "Tell me your ATM pin number." <laughs> <laughs> you almost went into like a weird Miss Cleo there. So, um, then at the birthday party, like all everyone comes because like the Veronica Lodge like invited a bunch of people, and Judy's like, "Yay, I have friends now." I, they, that totally weren't blackmailed into coming right? my weird party. Like that's like the weird kid that like runs like a horse. Yeah. Or, like, the cat girl. Oh, yeah. Remember that girl we went to school with that would hiss? Yes. Like everyone went to go- school with a girl who hissed. And, like, we were fucked up and dumb, too. Oh. But, like, not... We were like that. the high school no. photos of you. It's just the funniest fucking thing. Oh, me? Make. You specifically. Why? Because yeah. you got these braces and you're yeah. like, hey. I had big buck teeth. It's hilarious. Aww. Lisa needs braces. <laughs> I'm hilarious too, but. We all had braces. Like, you, you we can't all throw just stones. We kind of stopped from... aging. Like, I look the same as I did in high school. I just don't have braces. You have, like, lines on your face. It's like, take your yellow the teeth. <laughs> you're just like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Turn the mics off. <laughs> Like I John, just want to talk. I just want to talk. Podcast that's, a, over. that's a John Mulaney bit where he was oh. like, just uh, take my kindergarten photo and put some bags under the eyes and lines under them mm. and then yellow my teeth and then that's me. Yeah, that's fair. John Mulaney, what's going on with him? He said white boy summer with his whole <laughs> chest. <laughs> Yo, we got to do fanny pack summer. We got yeah. lots of summers to happen. We got Brett Michaels summer. No, we're in, we're, we we're in, in, the, Brett we're, Michael's in summer. we're entering Brett Michaels summer. Yeah. Yeah. What I think Brett Michael Summer can can correspond with fanny pack summer. Yeah. I think like a fringe fanny pack. Your fringe jacket is very good. Yep. It, it's because it also doubles for like a rowdy Roddy Piper. You could do it if you're like Ozzy rocking, Osbourne. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Everything. Doing some coke. Yeah. Oh, a little yeah, a little Black Sabbath weekend. Watch out. Yeah. No, I don't do that. I'm. Too I old. want. I'm 35. Come on. Fanny packs. I want to... Let's do fanny packs. Okay. Sure. Like, sure. All right. 
Calm down. <laughs> I'm calm. Are you? Yeah. Anyways, what do we think about Annabelle? Annabelle was barely in this movie. Yeah. yeah she was just kind of doing nothing. I honestly, like I said at the start of this, and I said after we watched it in the theater, uh, entertaining. Yeah. The, the most entertaining bum house movie. Yeah. That's been bum made. House. Absolutely. Like, I, I because, it, and I think the reason that it was entertaining is because it kind of embraces the goofiness of what this whole thing is. Yeah. And it it's not trying it to take it fun. seriously. It was yeah. fun for once. Uh. I have a, I have a suggestion when, and if we make the bum house shirts, you know how the logo is a little house. I think you keep the roof and then instead of the house, you had two butt cheeks. <laughs> oh, that's very good. I like it. I like that a lot. Mm-hmm. The, the only, the, the, the uh, first bum house movie I liked actually, I actually did like the first insidious. Yeah. Because at the time... That's one with Darth Maul in it, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, I, I shouldn't say I didn't... I liked Insidious until they got to the end where they showed Darth Maul and he was like playing the pipe organ or doing yeah. something fucking weird. And I was like... Playing the pipe organ. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. But the first like Ooh. 40 minutes was good. Yeah. Yeah. And then we went to go see Insidious 2 and you were like, hey, and you well, guessed the fucking, fucking twist. fucking called in the two minute, the In the first two minutes, I was like... He's on his own yeah, house. Yeah. He's the fucking blah, blah, blah. And I was 100% right. I was so mad at yeah. the end of that movie. Like, I remember just standing up and being like, fuck this movie. I was right. I hate it. Yeah. We were like, well, uh, then in the third one, it was like fucking Team Elise or whatever. It was like, they the, made four. And then people in the, in the theater were screaming Team Elise. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, because that was when the audience turned against the movie. Yeah. Okay. Actually, the fourth one, the last key, was- had a very cool aspect at the beginning where Elise, when she was a teenager, thought she was seeing a ghost, and it turned out that her dad just had somebody like imprisoned in their house. Remember oh, that? Yes. Yeah. Yes. That was cool. That should have just been the movie. Yeah. Yeah. No, and the twist good. is, is that it wasn't a ghost. You were seeing like somebody who's trapped in your house. Yeah. Yeah. That's very martyrs. Oh. So what did you think of Annabelle come come home? <laughs> Annabelle came <laughs> home. Full, Gail's full, so Annabelle come home. Annabelle came home. Uh. <laughs> It was good, bro. I liked it. I have a question. Yes. Why is it that like we have to take any title and just rip it to shreds and make it like the stupidest bomb house Annabelle combed home? You know what else we watched? Speaking of bad titles, we watched Kung Skull Mung today. Oh, we did. We went on a fucking insane Which- tirade about Kung Skull Mung. I really love Kong Skull Island. <laughs> okay, that- okay. Like, it's great. Kong and I've called it Kung Skull Mung to like the normal people who didn't ask to be exposed to us. <laughs> or them. Yeah. Uh, I give Kung Skull Mung 10 out of 10. <laughs> and I give Annabelle 3 the cumming. Uh, I don't know. Fucking 500 dolls out of 6. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It I'm was gonna, good. I'm going to give it like 5 Crooked Men's Coin Men. Yeah, he's got to figure it out. You can do something. There's a coin in give the it slot. Five feely mealies. Oh yeah, I'm gonna give it five feely mealies out of six feely mealies. What do you give it there, big cat? Mealy. I'll give it five feely yeah, mealies out it, of six. Graveyard. It's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. It's a graveyard feely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Felt my heart rate right up. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> um. Yeah. That's what we've been doing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, being garbage. So yeah. Quarantine is really working out. Yeah, we're not doing well. <laughs> I got an appointment for my second shot. See how that goes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so that's going to take us to the end of this uh, scintillating episode. But stay tuned for future episodes in which we'll continue Rigby's Bible study. <laughs> I got to learn. <laughs> You're going to learn. We're going to learn because we're going to watch Dracula 2000 and you can see vitamin C dump them. I want to. Okay, what's in the plot of that movie before we go? Please explain. <laughs> oh, you don't know. You don't uh, remember. Dracula gets... It's the year 2000 and Dracula's... In the year 2000. Yep. Dracula's young and hot and comes back for some reason. Is that reason. the one with um, the guy in it? Stuart Townsend? Yes. Why do I fucking... Or no, Stuart Townsend is in Queen of the Damned. Shit, let's watch Queen of the Damned. We can watch that one, because that one's, like, legit good. 
a back to back guy. There you go. Oh fuck, we can do a feature. little va- vampir night. Okay, yeah, well, let's do that. And then we might as well rewatch True Blood while we're at it because they're gonna remake it. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get on that front. Mm-hmm, whatever. I'll Anyways, <laughs> anyways, it's gonna take us to the end of this episode. Make sure to check us out online if you haven't already. We're drunk in a graveyard. dot com. I have to enter a fugue state to do this. Follow us on our social media on Twitter. We are drunk graveyard on Instagram and Facebook. We are drunk in a graveyard. Follow us on YouTube. YouTube. dot com forward slash drunk in a graveyard. We have Twitch. Also drunk in a graveyard. I think we have TikTok. We got we got lots of stuff. You can find us. Unfortunately, all over the internet, wherever <sighs> it exists. And yeah, that's going to take us to the end of this episode. So until next time, always stay spooky and yeah, um, feely, feely, mealy, feely, mealy. <laughs> <laughs>